We're back. I guess uh, have not having access to Facebook yesterday, though I missed you all, um, was it, what was in itself a time of Sabbath devotion uh, there unexpectedly. I just had a wonderful morning prayer with a group of folks from Cross of Hope uh, this morning and uh, look forward to continuing to dwell in God's Word here in a time of devotion with you all this morning, we're invited to Psalm 84, um, the psalm for this first part of the week. Um, so I'll invite you there, and if you'd like to read along um, and share this together, and then we'll share a devotion from Christ in our home and our partners at Augsburg Fortress. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts! My soul longs indeed, it faints, for the courts of the Lord, my heart and my flesh sing for joy the, uh, to the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young. At your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Happy are those who live in your house, ever singing your praise. Happy are those whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the highways to Zion. As they go through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of spring. The early rain also covers it with pools. They go from strength to strength. The God of gods will be seen in Zion. O Lord of God, O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Behold our shield, O God. Look on the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than live in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. He bestows favor and honor. No good thing does the Lord withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, happy is everyone who trusts in you. Word of God, word of life, may it be so for you here this day. Sharing a devotion for Christ in our home in a measurable relationship is the title. It invites our focus to the 10th verse. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. When prayerfully facing a difficult decision, do you make pro and con lists of the factors to help identify the better choice? But not all points are equally important. So you could draw a force field analysis of various arrows to weigh the pros and cons. Or you might construct a decision-making matrix with numerical values for the choice's attributes. Comparing is complex. The psalmist quantitatively compares a day of lowly work in close relationship with God to a thousand days elsewhere. But time isn't a dis deciding factor, the deciding factor. A relationship with God is immeasurably better. To walk righteously and trust God is the qualitative superior choice because it means knowing the blessings of God's favor, care, and goodness. I, too, can't measure or even comprehend the abundant blessings of being in relationship with God. As the psalmist concludes, O Lord of hosts, happy is everyone who trusts in you. Pray an invitation here to pray that, uh, together. O God, we praise and thank you for bringing us into a measurable good relationship with you. Amen. As this day unfolds before you, be invited to continue in prayer for data analysis who aid decision making. And God bless you as you dwell uh, richly in God today. And may God abide in you as you share and bear God's love with your life. Scanning over the comments, nerds like me do, <laughs> we do it on a spreadsheet. Ah, Karen, I love it. Uh, singing God's blessings alongside you there, Pastor Hickey. God continue to bless you and hold you, beloved. Kay, Karen, good to see you all. God be with you.